Yo, what's going on guys? It's Addison. <laughs> Sorry for the weird setup today. We've got some stuff to talk about. And I wish this could be a more happy video, uh, but it is not. <laughs> As you guys probably know, or maybe you don't, I don't know. Uh, spooky season is something that I do here on the channel. It's an annual series. I post or I aim to post one horror game video every day for the month of October. Uh, we did it successfully last year. Uh, my plan was to do that for this year as well, but uh, I tried and I failed. And that's kind of what the topic of today's video is. Uh, I have some gameplay of Steep here. Uh, that's gonna play in the background just while I'm talking. This year was a little bit different. There were a few factors that uh, changed how things ended up, and so I'm here to explain. But before I explain, I just want to apologize for the fact that I'm not able to keep up to my promise of posting every day for the month of October. I know it's not like that big of a deal. It's just gaming videos. There's a lot of other things that are more important in life. Uh, but the whole point of this channel is just, it's like a portal into my life. A portal into your life, so I can interact with you. Where was I? Reason number one why Spooky Season didn't work, <laughs> as opposed to last year, is uh, last year I only worked one part-time job in the real world. And then I came home and I had the rest of the day to just grind out videos, grind out short form posts, do live streams. This year, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to do that much, but I figured I could still do the long form videos. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> In case you don't know, I work two jobs now. That takes up the majority of my time every day. I don't really get days off anymore. All in all, I'm still in a very blessed position. I don't want this video to come across as me complaining or whining or anything like that. Um, I'm very thankful for the position that I'm in, the fact that we've had a couple pretty major hurricanes pass through our area and our house is relatively untouched. I mean, that's way different than the Hurricane Ian story. If you don't know about that, you can click one of the top corners. I don't know which one it is. Anyway, getting off track, sort of. Uh, I work two jobs now, and so naturally I don't have enough time to record un unless it's like late in the night. It's interesting because, okay, one of the two jobs that I have is purely technical, and then one of the two jobs that I have is still like a technical job, but it's mostly creative. It's like technical, but in the creative avenue, if that makes sense. In a way, it's like I'm spending all my daily uh, creative juices for the day on that creative job. And then I get home, I'm tired, my creative energy is gone. There's been several videos I've recorded for this year's spooky season that I just never ended up posting because I review the footage and it's like, bro, I'm not even entertained by my own footage. How can I expect you guys to enjoy if I don't even enjoy it? You know what I mean? So, and then uh, the next thing is uh, just, I don't know, the timing of it. I feel like, um, as I mentioned before, there were two major hurricanes that passed through my area. There was Hurricane Helene, and then there was Hurricane Milton. I still think Hurricane Ian was the worst hurricane I've ever been through. Uh, that hurricane literally destroyed my house, whereas these two hurricanes passed through and the house is relatively untouched, but it still was big enough to where like I had to evacuate safe from the storm, but not able to make videos at all. And I actually recorded a little bit of footage at an Airbnb during the uh, Hurricane Milton evacuation, and here's a little bit of that footage. If you were watching this video, no, <laughs> bad joke, bad joke. If you were watching this video, spooky season. It's cooked. <laughs> I didn't mind it myself. Ah, oh, that was right. <sighs> All right. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Addison. Sorry for the rudimentary setup here. I am 
currently in an Airbnb, ignore my clothes, and I'm currently without a gaming setup, recording setup or anything. Yeah, like I have my PC that I'm in the process of building right now, but it's not done, so. Is that a good angle? <laughs> uh, pretty much the reason the spooky season is cooked this year is because Hurricane Milton uh, did me in. Um, this seems to be a yearly thing. A uh, hurricane comes through every year, and for some reason, the channel's impacted. I love Florida! Now, to make it up to you guys, whatever footage I have left of Spooky Season, I will get around to editing and posting, whether that be in November, or December, or whatever. Uh, the remainder of Spooky Season will be completed, it just might not necessarily be in the month of October during these uncertain times. I'm preparing for the worst and hoping for the best, but at the end of the day, I know it's all part of God's plan and um, I'm just gonna fight through and keep the faith, so. All right, well, good news. The house isn't totally destroyed after all. <laughs> In fact, everything is just fine, so I will try to get back into the rhythm of things. <laughs> It was funny, that hurricane was hyped up to be a Cat 5, and when it made landfall, it was only like a Cat 2. <laughs> uh, you know, hurricane's hurricane, you know, but um, if you're a Floridian, you know, anything below a Cat 3 is not anything to worry about. <laughs> Ultimately, it was like, okay, those hurricanes didn't end up being as bad as they were hyped up to be, thank the Lord. Uh, but there was still an ample amount of time spent in another area not able to make videos, and so... That was another part of it. It was like, I was a solid, like, three weeks ahead on my recording and my editing and everything. And then the hurricanes came through and happened and uh, threw me all out of whack, man. Got to the point where there were some videos like the, the Fortnite with Slushy series that I did. Uh, the finale of that series, that last video that I did where I played Alien Station with Slushy. Uh, I finally managed to finish editing and posting that video three minutes before it was supposed to go live. <laughs> so of course the next day it's like I don't even have a video ready. That was the situation, unfortunately. And then uh, yeah, to sort of save myself time, uh, I spent a lot of money out of pocket to hire editors to edit certain videos for me. That's why sometimes in this series, for this year anyway, You'll notice some of the videos were pretty minimalistic in terms of the editing style and those most likely a video that I edited. And then there's some videos that are like professionally like just high meme edits and everything. Uh, that's obviously going to be people that I hired from Fiverr. <laughs> and I'm super appreciative for their efforts and it's been super cool to collaborate with them on those videos and stuff. It's a very surreal feeling like handing raw footage to someone else not thinking about it for like a few days and then they just randomly message me the edited video and it's like amazing <laughs> it's like what the freak it's like man if you weren't so expensive i would just uh, like m m make you do every video like i really just had to stop myself and remind myself okay i love doing this this is fun but at the end of the day it's a hobby right i don't make a dime off of this channel um and I'm j i just do this for fun you know what I mean? It's not a third job. It's not like I, I know in order to be successful on this platform, you kind of have to treat it like it's a third job. But I just want to have fun on this channel. I want this to continue to be a place of fun and not a burden. I just had to stop myself from spending so much money on editors just so that I could keep up with this deadline. Again, it started to be more stressful than it was fun to keep up with these expectations and then the video would post and it would get like 20 views and it's like okay so people don't really care or just the algorithm hates me that's that's probably the other part of it <laughs> again i don't want the message of this video to be sad or self-deprecating or i don't want any pity or you know like whatever but now i do still have a lot of footage that's unedited and i will get around to editing that i also have one more project that i like already paid for a while back that's currently in the process of being edited. Uh, I'll just tell you guys right now, it's Alan Wake Remastered. That game, uh, I played it and it was interesting to say the least, uh, but I hired a team of editors to 
uh, professionally edit that series and I believe it's like a five or six part series so that'll be good when it eventually comes my way but I'm, I'm still kind of waiting on the final product whatever I was going to play in October will come out in November and December uh, after December I will make the year recap video that we do every year that'll be fun and then uh, after that this is where this is the part of the video where it starts to get real okay I've been feeling like there's been a lot of doors closing left right and center when it comes to this uh, like I mentioned work schedule I've taken on way more responsibilities at work than I initially signed up for and like I'm happy to do it because I'm helping people and I'm like serving the Lord while doing it and I'm happy to serve um, but it does mean that I don't really have a whole lot of time to just be at home and have the energy to make videos and then uh, even just in general like I said with the whole creative juices thing feeling depleted um, for the first time in three years of doing content creation here on this platform I'm actually feeling burnout weird to say i put so much effort into this year's spooky season even if i wasn't able to finish it right and then just the response was uh underwhelming and that's not your guys's fault i feel like that's more so the algorithm not pushing my videos <laughs> i i appreciate each and every single one of you who took time out of your day to actually like sit down and enjoy a piece of content that i made so thank you or if you didn't and this is the first video you're seeing from me hey i mean i have a whole year's worth of spooky season from last year you can go check that out i feel like i'm filming a breakup video right now and i promise you it's not <laughs> i'm not breaking up with you guys something i learned recently is that god answers every single prayer he just doesn't always answer it in the way that you want it to be answered typically three answers to any prayer answer number one is yes answer number two is no and answer number three is not yet and in the not yet lies a command to be patient and to grow in your faith on him rather than yourself during that process and I know I'm, you know, I'm, I'm preachy preacher sin right now. <laughs> this might not make a whole lot of sense to anybody who's not a believer. But all I'm try just trying to say is, uh, yeah, I've been wondering a lot about the path forward and just figuring like, okay, if I just push through, if I just show the perseverance, if I put in the hard work, it'll pay off. I put in hard work and... The only thing that got me to stop was quite literally an act of God. <laughs> and so it was just through, like, the easy way or the hard way. Unfortunately, it had to be the hard way, but my eyes have been open to the fact that God is saying not right now for this whole YouTube dream that I have. And this has happened before. If you guys don't know, I had a channel when I was much, much younger. I was like 10 years old or something. Uh, I wanted to be a Minecraft YouTuber, you know. Yeah, that was, that was like, at the forefront of my mind back then. I had a lot of, like, Minecraft YouTuber idols I looked up to, and, uh, but that's the thing. They were idols, right? They, like, I was not keeping my eyes on the Lord. I was keeping my eyes on those people I wanted to be like, and, like, myself, and, like, how I wanted to be, like, a cool content creator, like a YouTuber, you know. I won't get into it too much, but I mean, that door slammed in my face real hard, <laughs> real hard, you know, um, my channel ended up getting banned, actually. So I just for many years after that, I just held in my mind that it was that his, the answer to that was no. I was like, OK, whatever, I'll move on in life. It's just not meant to be. Years later, I created this channel and I tried again, but like accidentally, like I never started making videos on this channel intentionally if that makes sense and i know that sounds weird but hear me out for a second i'll give you guys a little bit of a story time because i don't think i've actually formulated these words properly on the channel before but 
I don't know, 2018, 2019, 2020, somewhere around there. My friends and I used to play a game called Star Wars Battlefront 2 a lot. Uh, there weren't actually a whole lot of times where we all as a friend group would play together, but there were like a couple of us who would play pretty much every day. And so I don't want to like come across as like prideful or whatever, but just objectively speaking for the sake of the history, I was objectively the best player at Star Wars Battlefront 2 out of our friend group. I would get messages from the boys asking for tips and tricks, you know, my loadouts, you know, just whatever. Like, how can I get better at the game, you know? And so I didn't really know how to, like, tell them certain techniques that I would do other than, like, showing them. And so back on PlayStation 4, whenever I'd have a sick moment, just in the moment, nothing planned or anything, I'd just do it. So I, I got it like that, you know what I'm saying? I would clip it. I would clip the moment. And then the only way to share it back then, obviously things are much different now, but back then, the only way you could share the clip was either through Twitter or through YouTube. And I, I didn't have a Twitter back then, but I had this like random YouTube channel that I had created just so that I could interact with other YouTubers that I watched so I could comment and like interact with their streams and stuff. Uh, I never post any videos. I never planned on posting any videos. So I was just like, okay, let me just post the clip to my YouTube and just share the link in the group chat so they can, I guess, study my footage and get better at the game. Nothing much more to it than that. I did that for a little while. Eventually, as time went on, some of these clips that I would post would get more and more and more views, way more than, you know, the amount of people in our friend group. There was only like five or six of us at the time. It dawned on me that there were random people out there in the world somewhere who I didn't know who just out of the blue with no context saw my video and clicked on it and watched it. And so that, that passion, that dream was reborn where I was like, man, imagine the impact I could have if I actually took content creation seriously. Like if I, and that's when I started making like proper YouTube videos and proper playthroughs and stuff. And we had a lot of fun and we're going to continue having a lot of fun. Again, this I'm not quitting. We've had a good run this past, you know, three years. And then now I'm feeling like things, like doors are closing again. And I feel like the Lord might be telling me to wait again. And that hurts because I don't want to wait. I want to keep pushing. You know, I want to keep making videos. I want to keep streaming. I want to, you know, all this stuff. But again, I just feel the doors closing left and right. And I don't want to try to make it work and it fail even harder than if I had just taken a little bit of a break. You know what I mean? So all that to kind of say that, A, I'm incredibly grateful for the situation I'm in. I'm incredibly grateful for all of you, uh, those of you who watch, those of you who interact. I love you guys, I really do. I don't know who all of you are. Some of you are just usernames. I don't know your faces or anything, but I want you to know that if you comment if you join the streams if you like the videos even if you're just a silent viewer and i have no idea who you are if you watch i appreciate you i really do and your support means more to me than you could ever possibly know because i do get times where i do feel sad and lonely and just kind of eh about life you know uh and then i always it like warms my heart to receive like a positive comment or like a positive general support around a video that I make and it's nice and so I appreciate you guys um and then you know just a general I'm sorry for not being able to fulfill spooky season this year like I had promised I'm definitely not gonna be making promises that I know I can't keep anymore <laughs> had to learn the hard way but uh yeah and even with like the until dawn thing so I made a post, right, where I was like, sorry guys, ran out of time, don't have a post for today, don't have a video for today, but I will stream until dawn to make it up to you. And then I didn't stream until dawn because when I went to go buy the remake of Until Dawn, uh, my card declined. <laughs> and that goes back to the point of, you know, me spending an ungodly amount of money on editors. So still figuring that out but um i feel like through this whole thing i've focused my attention and my heart's affection too much 
on this channel and the idea of formulating a brand you know uh trying to make a go of this you know and i can't force that it has to be the lord's will when i pray lord is this youtube thing your will he's saying not yet i mean just the fact that i can post means the answer isn't no which is good <laughs> but maybe there's just some growing i have to do for that to happen so like i said the remainder of spooky season footage that i have will get edited and posted in late october november december i'll do the recap video in january um and then I'm going to take a little bit of a break from the channel. I'm not quitting. I'm not giving up. I will be back. I just don't know when. So that's the plan. And I also know that sometimes things don't go to plan. <laughs> but the Lord has a plan. And the Lord's plan is the best plan. So might as well follow it, right? I appreciate you guys. Once again, this is not goodbye but merely a see you later. So, I will see you later. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one. God bless. Take care. And peace.